on snow. And I'd like to share some of my tips and tricks on how to handle the taller, larger, heavier adventure bikes. Especially when you're a shorter person such as myself. So I'm five foot, one and a half inch tall. And when I sit on a stock R1250 GS such as this one, my feet tend to dangle about six, six, seven inches from the floor, which can be a real challenge. Now the biggest challenge to these larger bikes, for shorter folks like myself, usually happens when the bike is not in motion. For instance, up riding the bike, stopping the bike, putting a foot down, or of course, the dreaded kickstand. <laughs> Now, some of you may argue, why don't I just get a bike that I can touch both feet flat-footed on the ground? Smaller bikes are fun, but they just aren't always capable of doing all the things that I want them to do. This particular adventure bike, although it is larger, it can carry a lot more fuel, which allows me to go on longer adventures and not have to worry about trying to find a gas station out in a remote location. It's comfortable, has the heated grips, and it has a GPS set up with a little toggle wheel. On the fly, I can change the suspension. Um, can have it from on-road to off-road to rain mode just with a push of the button. Now, when I decide to go camping and off on a big trip, I can have the big pannier boxes, my tent, my camping gear, and everything I need, and it has no problem carrying the load. With that said, I've chosen to ride a bike that I can't quite touch the ground on. It shouldn't be a problem for you. It's not a problem for me. So I want to share some of my tricks to help show you how you can work past that. So with the taller bikes and the shorter legs, upriding the bike can be a challenge. I'm sure you've all done this. Get on the bike. You get ready to go. You got to get it off the kickstand. So it's the one, two, three. One, two. Oh, right? And you can upright it. Here's the thing with that. It doesn't look very cool, number one. And number two, it's exhausting. Now, some of you have probably done this. Getting the bike upright, lifting the kickstand, and then carefully trying to get your leg over the bike and then off on the other side. Again, it just it's exhausting and it doesn't look very cool. And a third way, upright the bike, lift the kickstand, you open up the door, and then swing your leg up and over, which is great. But again, it can be a little exhausting. And if we have bags and boxes back there, it doesn't always work out. Hopefully I can show you a way that you can upright the bike that'll be a bit easier. I'd like to upright the bike. As you can see, I have no more leg to give. My, my leg is straight, and there's no way to upright this bike without doing it the ways I showed you previously. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna bend this knee down. I'm gonna match the center line on the seat, on the edge of the seat, about halfway down my thigh. That thigh, at the midpoint, I'm gonna push into the seat. I'm gonna take my left hand, and just support the grip, my right hand, and grab an area that's secure on the back of the bike. From this point, all I have to do is straighten my leg. I just push into the seat, straighten my leg, and the bike comes up effortlessly. Straighten up my leg. Just push into the seat, straighten up my leg. From this point, I'm just going to be in balance fly over the seat to the other side and now we have the kickstand as you can see I can't reach it keeping my right foot on the ground to balance the bike <laughs> I can't reach it for everything I have let me show you a kickstand trick one of the ways I like to tackle the kickstand is with what I call the lift and dive. So here I'm demonstrating it on the same R1250 GS without any gear so you can clearly see how this works. 
Once the bike is uprighted, eyes stayed center and in balance, looking ahead. I glance down to notice where the kickstand is. It hasn't moved, so I take a mental picture and then I look straight ahead. All in one movement. I lift with my right foot, I dive with my left foot, grabbing the kickstand and lifting it up. Quickly transitioning back to the right foot to place it on the ground to balance the bike. Now that I've shown you one way I upright the bike and deal with the kickstand, in my next video I'll show you my favorite, which is the rolling step up. I'm Jocelyn Snow. Thanks for watching.